Hello again. This is Ute and Tulu Tulu Tulu. Come in, come in, come in. Ute and Ken. Welcome. Welcome. Today, um, we want to ask you a question. Did you ever make your own organic oil? Did you ever try it? It's easy. Let's learn today more about arthritis. This is the theme, I want to say, of today's video. Um, arthritis and all the other joint pain or health or how you can keep it without of pain, even when you're aging. Arthritis is the general term for inflammation related joint disease. So there are different, it's called arthritis. There are another one which is joint released as well. Released? Released? <laughs> Related. <laughs> ah, we're starting again with my fancy pronunciation. So we have arthritis and then we have the other one. It's called osteoarthritis. Um, this refers to wear and tear the joint Hmm. Now it's a uh, cartilage? cartilage, 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 knorpel, we would say in Germany, so much easier. So, and then another um, joint related disease could be gout. Um, gout is a metabolic disease in which the balance of uric acid in your blood is disturbed. That sounds, oh my God, she's talking like a doctor now. No. So gout, is it the right pronunciation? Yep. Gout. Um, it's an easier fix, I want to say. Gout is, um, yeah, as I said, this is something when your uric acid in your blood is disturbed. And you can fix this easily, kind of easily, if you change your diet. For example, if you have the gout issue in your joint, um, you should may not eat meat, sausage, fish and seafood. Ha food. <laughs> because they have the highest burn uh, content and should therefore only be consumed in a small amount. When it comes to meat and sausage, um, make sure you choose a low fat. So a low fat, maybe turkey is low fat or chicken um, sausage, um, the low fat version. You should avoid offal. This means the um, organic meats from the animals like liver, kidney and whatever you can eat. You see on my face, I do not eat this. Um, this all together would help you with your gout um, to get it healthier and you are more relieved from the pain. You can also use creams and oils, but this would be you can easily fix when you choose a different diet. So arthritis is a chronic condition that causes joint inflammation, as I said earlier, and can have a variety of symptoms. The most known symptoms is pain in your joint or swelling on your hands or your feet or your, yeah, everywhere when it can swell <laughs> and stiffness. Um, joint stiffness usually lasting less than 30 minutes. But if you wake up and you have stiff hands, I don't think this is, um, yeah, not painful. But Ken can give you more about his um, journal with uh, arthritis. Ken, <laughs> Ken. <laughs> well, First thing, it's my journey <laughs> with arthritis. So I've been in construction and everything since I've been 15. And yet we didn't look back in the day how we treated our body. We just worked as hard as possible. So, but someday it caught up with me. So the arthritis I have in my joint pains is 90% of my hands. You can see the swelling here and yes, pain in the fingers. And I had that big problem, I would wake up in the morning and my hands were almost stiff and it really, really hurt to move them. That's where I came to my wife and said, hey, I need something and I need something now. <laughs> so now I'm going to hand over later on. Stay with us. I'm going to show you how to use it correctly, too, because that's another thing, not just putting it on your skin, but how to correctly use it, put it on and everything. OK, I'll be back. <laughs> Um, okay, so what we use in our arthritis oil is, as you can see here, one, two, three, four, plus the olive oil, four ingredients. We have ginger, fresh ginger. We have, and you could smell it here, we have garlic, and we have cloth, and we have rosemary and olive oil. Oop, I should take the knife away. <laughs> I just want to show you the ginger. You have, I would say, take fresh ginger. We are growing right now ginger and turmeric, right? In yep. our 
greenhouse over there, not over there. <laughs> well, we grow it in summer out in the little homestead out back too, in the open. But we are trying this year to grow it year through in the greenhouse. Yeah, we will see how it works because, as you said, um, over the last couple of months, this was outside and free in the big raised beds. And now we have a batch of turmeric and a batch of ginger in our greenhouse. And it's already so big. Yeah, it's so cute. So, yeah, <clears throat> ginger. You should take just the ginger and a knife and go ahead and cut it in little pieces like this. You can eat it like it is right now. It's not my taste. <laughs> and you do the same with garlic, fresh garlic. I wouldn't take any essential garlic oil. I would definitely take the fresh one. And then the Nelken cloth. Clove. Cloth. And we have also in our oil rosemary. You can take the fresh rosemary out of your garden or you can take the dried one when this one yeah, when this one is dried, you can take this. It doesn't matter if you take fresh or um, dried rosemary. What are you doing? So you may want to think about why are this five, four, I'm sorry, five here, four ingredients. Ginger on his own helps slow the progressive of arthritis by preventing the breakdown of cartilage again. <laughs> and ginger has been used for years and years and years or so i don't know the e egypt already used it or even more back so ginger has been as i said used in reduced inflammation and pain and his anti-inflammatory properties make it a perfect helper for your arthritis or joint pain so garlic beside um yeah eating it and cooking with it garlic is also anti-inflammatory Terry, <laughs> um, garlic has natural antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties and making it as well, like ginger, a good help in this oil for your arthritis. Then we have, let me go to the rosemary, as I said, fresh or dry. Rosemary is a powerful antioxidant and helps with reduce oxidative stress and promote joint health. And last but not least, we have here, you can use it in the kitchen as well, smells good, smells like Christmas, mm. <laughs> it's cloth and cloth has been used for again like the ginger for years and years and years um, and it's relieving pain and reduced inflammation and it's a perfect addition to all the other um, ingredients we have here. So as you can see all of these ingredients they have the power to reduce the inflammation and help to heal your body. You can never, right Ken? It can never be healed for 100%. This is, this is not working. But we thought before you take any pills, I mean, I could make pills for um, arthritis, but I think, or Ken thinks, the oil is better. And he will show you later on how he want to put it on his skin. So what are you doing is, put on calves. <laughs> um, you put, I, I don't have really, uh, measurement in grams or such because i always and maybe this is what we as herbalists are doing we are saying parts so one part and the one part could be 100 gram or a handful or whatever you want to make or how big the um batch, the batch should be mm. um as you may be wondering this <laughs> this is our batch um because we are using it very often and what we are doing, or what I'm doing, I'm, I keep all the ingredients in the oil. It doesn't harm. It's the opposite. It will be stronger as um, longer it's in, in this container. And you just filter it out. And then you can go ahead and put it in a spray bottle like we have here. It's in a spray bottle. Um, so you can put it on your skin. So I'm still fighting with this beautiful cloth here got it <laughs> so we take and as i said i'm counting in parts so i have one part of the ginger we just put it in a jar i have one part of garlic put it in the jar i have one part of the cloth put it in the jar and then i have here the one part of rosemary 
and because I had it already out of the garden I just put this fresh one in it as well then olive oil we don't have to explain it perfect good olive oil and we fill it up you can fill it up to the top you should fill it up to the top because if there is a little little air between the oil and the the jar it could be what do you want to say you can rotten it could go bad or yeah, yeah it's going bad <laughs> we say it like this it's going bad so now you close it up and you see now you can shake it a little bit so this is more or less the baby of this one this is infused i would say for at least six months now yep. and as i said we keep it if we use it i filter it out um so i have just the oil and this is the same what you can do with this little one um just keep it in there for at least you know that six to eight week on a dark spot take it out good morning shake it and bring it back and it's as i said i repeat myself it's not necessary that you put all the uh, goodies out of the oil keep it in there and you have always a strong helpful arthritis oil we should say a nice cool spot dark and cool <clears throat> so don't put it in your heating room where it gets too warm <laughs> <clears throat> no I, <laughs> yeah i think normally in the kitchen shelf or whatever it's not hot so yeah but don't put it in the sunlight don't put it on the oven or on the burner or whatever just keep it safe on a dark spot normal temperature talk to him shake it on a daily base and then you are good and there is no shelf life so it will hold as i said this one is already six months old and there is no shelf life nothing is going wrong it's olive oil it's cloth rosemary so garlic it holds forever if you're not using it all right now you want to show <laughs> you have to take well this. there's a there's a little tip to this too so as long as the organic material which is the garlic and stays under the oil that's the most important so when you start seeping it out always look that you're organic this is floating of course at top now because it's not soaked in yet but with every day shaking and turning around and shaking it'll work so then nothing this is like if you put anything in oil it'll last forever underneath so now this is very important i was told from a hmm, what do you call them they're these therapists that do your body aches help you with your bones and muscles and all that physiotherapist a physiotherapist yeah. so when you put this on what's most important is so i'm showing you all my hands now you could do it on your elbows on your knees sometimes even your neck okay and yes you could see by me or my wife could feel it i do have here already this yep. little and hill. but since i've been using it and it's about good six months now oh, yeah, longer. yeah but i used to wake up the hands were stiff i would have to really first start moving him in really serious pain in the morning but since i've been doing this before i go to bed i spray it in and of course it's not showing it now it's not coming out of the bottle but there we yes. go important put it between your hands okay over the spots even here and then when you're rubbing it in always towards the body don't rub it away rub it towards the body this way okay and then with these points here where it hurts here same thing and what you can do is i don't know if you could see that here massage it, massage it in <coughs> massage it in yes it just hurts when you do that a little bit but loosen those joints up i love doing this one and he showed it to me too okay take your finger and move them like that okay your joints so that your joints and then really really rub it in it's really really fantastic it works does it take away 100 percent the pain no no but it is such a big, big, big relief. I would could say from 100% pain of arthritis pain that I have, I went down to 25%. But you have to do it every day. Every day. You, you'll realize if you stop it for three, four, five days, the main pain will come back. But this is really helping. Piece by piece, keep it low, keep it, keep it down. It really works. Thank you, Dr. Ken. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not a doctor. So, yeah, that's exactly the point. I'm just a normal human being. <laughs> but I like um, with therapists and everything that they can tell you how to use. Told me too, 
if they do any type of massage, they never do it away from the body. Muscle massage, they always go with, to the body. To your heart. More. To your heart and everything. That's an important factor. So don't move. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we will have a second video because you can also make a cream, not with the same ingredients, but with something special in it. And this video will be, I guess, in two weeks. Um, maybe you are asking what the hmm is all of this. We have already the cayenne hot cream, which is equal to, how is it called? Tiger balm. Tiger balm, Tiger balm. Yep. But it's not strong enough for your arthritis. You see also here our toothpaste. And yes, we did it now with Termiac in it. He loves it. It works. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Arthritis also for your pets. This is arthritis tincture for your pets. So if you want to know more about this, you can visit our YouTube channel or you can shoot us a message and we can explain it to you. Don't forget, like and subscribe. <laughs> and yes, the video is still out with the greenhouse. It's so much cutting to do and everything, but it will be coming. And as always, stop. <laughs> I am your master herbalist. Um, I will not or we will not and we cannot give you any medical advice. This here, as you hear from Ken, um, heard from Ken, is his own experience. Experience, we already get feedback from customers. So we will never ever give you any medical advice. So as Ken said, um, don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Um, click. Somewhere here, click, boom, <laughs> <laughs> and click the bell. So you get the information, the notification. Hey, the two ones have a new uh, video out there. So now we are at the end, right? So the information and the stand-up comedy is over. <laughs> <laughs> we wish you all the best. Love and light. Love and light. Ken and Ute from Ute's Herbal Corner. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.